You may have heard Adam Scott's golf swing referred to as the best golf swing on tour or even an example of the perfect golf swing. And it's not difficult to see why, nor is it difficult to see why Scott has become, you know, former world number one, major champion. I think he's won over 30 times across the world. It's one of the best swings in golf. And there is so much to learn from the golf swing of Adam Scott. So today we're gonna look through a bunch of clips that I have of Scott's swing. And I'm just gonna point out some things that we can all learn as people who don't have the perfect golf swing. Here are just some things that we can learn from Scott's golf swing to make our golf game a little bit better. Let's start off with his takeaway. I think one thing with his takeaway is how the left arm uh, seems to start the golf swing entirely. With so many golfers, it seems like they have all these weird triggers and weight transfers that start their golf swing and that just makes the golf swing overactive. And when there's so many moving components in the golf swing, it's very difficult to remain consistent because with all those moving things, all of them can't be consistent. Uh, so having a simple one plane takeaway just like Scott has, is going to really put you in a great position to become a better ball striker consistently. Another thing that I've always loved about Scott's golf swing, and I think one thing that's a big reason why his golf swing is so admired, is the silky tempo of it. It seems so unrushed and so deliberate. Uh, he's very exact with it. He's kept it consistent throughout his long career. He's seen great success with it and he hasn't wavered from it. So it's very easy to point out all of these idiosyncratic parts of the swing when at the end of the day, the rhythm and the tempo of this golf swing is really the heartbeat. Now that's not to say that you need to match your swing rhythm exactly on point with Adam Scott's, but if you think you have a fast golf swing and you're not getting in the right positions, um, looking at Scott's golf swing as inspiration to maybe slow down your tempo a little bit can certainly be helpful. Throughout that backswing, you can also see how strong uh, the upper body of Adam Scott is. I'm gonna pause at the top of the backswing where you can see his hands really aren't incredibly high, nor are they low. Uh, he doesn't have a very flat swing. It's somewhere in the middle. And the, the wrist flex is also uh, very flat as well. So it's very standard positioning. When you think of just the typical A golf swing, this is kind of what you see. And again, that's part of the beauty what that people, that so many people see in Scott's golf swing. This active and strong upper body is complemented very well from a stable lower body. Uh, the only movement that you can see in that lower body uh, in these videos, especially with driver, is that noticeable flexion of the left knee, which is loading that power up. Um, and when that right knee goes down, that allows the hips to open up a little bit more. Uh, and then that will obviously create more power through the ball. And then as soon as those hands come down into transition, first off, I think Scott has one of the best shallowing moves of the club. We'll talk about uh, the path in just a little bit. But as soon as that club comes down, you can see those hips blast through the ball. You can see that left leg start to straighten up. And that's called leveraging the ground. When that left leg for a right-handed golfer, whatever the front leg is, when that starts to straighten up, especially with driver, that's when the the whole body comes through the ball the hips obviously come through with that but uh the the upper body ideally follows that move and that is such a massive creation of power it's very similar to someone like justin thomas or rory mcelroy who are smaller individuals but they can create so much power from leveraging the ground you can only imagine the amount of power that a bigger stronger guy like adam scott creates with it so if you're ever recording and analyzing your own golf swing, be sure to look at that knee flex because if you're leveraging the ground properly, it's really gonna clear the way for those hips. Uh, it's one of the best power generators that I can think of. And there are very few golfers to look at who do it, who do it better than Adam Scott. Now let's talk about the swing plane, which I talked about earlier. It's fairly basic, really. And I think that that's so much of the beauty of this golf swing, that there aren't many thrills. There's no crazy Scotty Scheffler foot movement or Matthew Wolf takeaway aspects. It's just silky smooth from start to finish. So this takeaway, like I said, is uh, very standard. He puts it in a perfect position um, at, the, at the top of the transition. And then he has a slight shallowing move through the ball, and that allows him to hit the draw that he usually hits off the tee. He's worked a little bit towards a fade as some golfers have, especially with driver. But Scotty has always, um, you know, throughout the past two decades, really turned to the draw a little bit more. 
but that shallow move is accentuated by how straight that left arm is. I know that this is a piece of golf advice that is a little bit polarizing. If you're a right-handed golfer, keeping that left arm perfectly straight, it's not always easy. You need to be strong, you need to be flexible, and you need to be precise with the golf club. And luckily, most professional golfers who do this for a living, they have all those qualities because that's what they do as a full-time job. Scotty's left arm stays so straight, especially down through the ball, and that's what allows him to be so precise because when that left arm stays perfectly straight the the club's distance from your body is going to remain the exact same if it comes into yourself a little bit if you're bending that left elbow you're changing the width of your your swing path and when you change the width of your swing path everything goes because if that's not consistent where you're striking the ball isn't consistent and then obviously your ball striking is just not going to be there so uh, a huge reason that scotty has been so reliable especially with those long irons is because that left arm stays so perfectly straight through uh the takeaway obviously but it's super important through impact uh, and then obviously right after the ball he just has the most beautiful follow through and finish that you can imagine. There are a lot of great golf swings on tour, but I don't think there are any more well balanced than Adam Scott's swing. You, you, you see that takeaway, you see him hold the finish. Uh, you'll see so many PGA Tour golfers hold the finish because their balance is so great. But if you go to your local municipal course or you see your 20 handicap buddies playing, when they hit a drive, they almost never hold their finish because they're always off balance. So that's a super simple thing that we can work on in our own golf swings. Just slow it down, maybe widen your stance a little bit, create a stable base just to ensure that you can hold that finish. You're not showing off by holding your finish. You're simply showing to yourself that you can maintain balance. Like many people who love the game of golf, I could go on and on about Adam Scott's golf swing, but I think what we talked about today, about the takeaway, some knee flexion, uh, having that straight left arm and the balance finish, I think that those are a bunch of things that the amateur golfer who's looking to improve their game can look at in Adam Scott's swing and learn from to apply into their own swing. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts on Adam Scott's golf swing because like I always say in these swing analysis, uh, there are many things that I see that you all don't and vice versa. So if you have any thoughts on the golf swing that I haven't mentioned, I'd love to hear them in the comment section down below. If you want to see more content like this, we've done a lot of swing analysis recently and you guys seem to be really liking them. So uh, the Nelly Corda video has done very well. You all seemed like the Max Homa video. So we're going to continue to do these. Uh, if you have any more ideas, let me know. If you want to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Uh, we also post general golf advice videos also, uh, and that'll help you improve your game and become more confident on the golf course. And finally, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like rating on it. That helps do two things. One, it helps YouTube show this content to more people who will find it helpful. And two, it helps me see what kind of content you guys are enjoying the most so that I can tailor the videos that we're putting out in the future to your needs. As always, thank you all very much for watching. Play well and take care.